Hey guys, if you are a bookkeeper or you're looking into the bookkeeper field, you may have heard different things about how technology is impacting bookkeepers. So it's called artificial intelligence or bot keepers or maybe robots taking over bookkeeping. So today I'm going to give you a bunch of statistics about that as well as all my thoughts. My name is Morgan. Make sure you check out my website, finepoints.biz, to see my free masterclass about is bookkeeping right for you, as well as my free checklist about starting a bookkeeping business. All right, so I'm going to give you my short answer, as I like to do sometimes when possible at the beginning of a video so that I'm not annoying and making you wait till the very end. Basically, what I think is that the number of bookkeepers is probably going down overall. It's probably reduced over the last 10 years or so. But I do think there are a ton, a ton of opportunities for bookkeepers to really thrive and to have like an elevated position as we are utilizing all this new technology. And if it's something you want to do and you're at a place in your life that it makes sense, um, you really don't have too much to lose in starting a bookkeeping business just because the startup cost is very low and then the earning potential is very high. And as I'm going to talk about, even if you do it for a short period of time, you can always use it to springboard into other opportunities. So that is kind of like the two sentence answer. Um, now I'm going to get into kind of two parts. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the elevated role as a bookkeeper and how you can utilize and really take advantage of all the new technology and all the robots that are available to us now as bookkeepers and kind of those advantages. And then I'm going to talk about statistics. So I spent some time doing some research and I'm going to share that with you guys. And I do recognize like my own bias and anyone who is a bookkeeper or is trying to teach you about bookkeeping or sell you a bookkeeping course, they are going to say that bookkeeping is not a dying industry and we're all doing great. So I definitely recognize my own bias and that is why I tried to pull as many of those statistics as possible. Um, but definitely let me know in the comments what you think about this topic and I'd love to get a discussion going down there. So the first thing is that interpersonal, that advisory role as a bookkeeper. So how that kind of happens is talking with your clients, figuring out what their priorities, figuring out what their pain points are and coming up with creative solutions to fix those things. Maybe none of their clients are paying them on time. So they need you to help with that incoming money and come up with a system, a process that's specific to them, as well as looking at a report and analyzing it, um, figuring out maybe KPI, so key performance indicators. I do have a video about that the thumbnail looks like this that you can check out and that is a way to again elevate and to be more of an advisor to your bookkeeping clients the second thing is technology makes your life easier so i'm going to tell you the truth i would not be a bookkeeper if it was 20 years ago i'm not someone who wants to write down stuff in a paper ledger and um, you know write all these checks and do everything by hand in a book like that is not my style, not my personality. Um, and so I really appreciate QuickBooks and I've been a bookkeeper for like nine years, I think now. And I've seen how the technology has improved and it has made my life easier as a bookkeeper. Then in turn, it takes me less time to help my clients to do all of their work. And so I'm able to take on more clients and then think about my job more as a value that I am providing to clients rather than like an hourly rate. And even as the technology gets easier, there are countless business owners that are just not going to want to take the time to learn QuickBooks. Their time is going to be better spent doing other things within their business. So these business owners still need help and still need expertise of someone who knows the program. And just anecdotally, based on my own experience, I've had a really easy time getting bookkeeping clients. I've shared in other videos that originally I wanted to start a different business doing copywriting. No one really wanted to outsource their copywriting, but everyone did want to outsource their bookkeeping. That was just a very natural thing that business owners were willing to pay for. And I personally have always been filled to the max to clients and have actually been to the point where I need to turn clients away. And I've always only worked part time, so I've never been a full time bookkeeper. So that is my experience. I find more often business owners are looking and looking for a good qualified bookkeeper because think about it. I feel like I know tons of like teachers and I know a good handful of nurses, but I really don't know that many bookkeepers that I come across in my like regular life. So again, I personally have just seen nothing but that like need for bookkeepers. All right, then get paid more in your niche. So as you specialize and know one type of client super duper well, know all the ins and outs of their business, then you're going to be able to be more valuable and more attractive to people who in that same industry. 
And in my research, I found that more people are starting businesses and therefore are going to have a need for bookkeepers. And yes, maybe someone just starting out isn't going to want to pay for bookkeeping services. They're not going to want to outsource that. But um, I think there is a bookkeeper launch article that I read. Um, if you don't know what bookkeeper launches, there's a link in my description box. It's my favorite class that you can take to learn how to be a bookkeeper. It basically said that like if you're if there's a business owner that wants to use like a robot, like a AI service, then it's just that they're not ready for you yet because they haven't realized that you as a human bookkeeper are not just data entry. Like that's not what a bookkeeper does now. That interpersonal, that goal setting, that systematizing, things like that are really where you're going to shine. And just a quick story about that. I used to work at the Target headquarters and at one point a large part of my job got outsourced. And so there was like kind of some concern for a while within my like colleagues, like, oh no, are they gonna cut jobs? What's gonna happen? But really it made my job like 10 times better because again, I was able to focus on the things that I really enjoyed. I was able to use my brain more and I didn't have to spend so much time on the menial tasks that I didn't even enjoy in the first place. So I think from that experience, I've really been ingrained with the fact that technology isn't a hindrance to me, but I can really use it to my best advantage. And yes, you do have to adapt to changing times, but that is true in every job, I believe. And then just my last note about the businesses outsourcing bookkeepers before I get into the stats. How I suggest and how I teach that you should set up your business by creating your own business entity and then working as a contractor for multiple clients, that is, I think more and more what business owners are looking for. Like in the past, they probably wanted a full-time bookkeeper sitting in their office being paid a kind of lower salary for a full-time job, kind of like an assistant job. But now bookkeeping can be done in a shorter amount of time. So you're able to, again, charge for that value and have multiple clients. So I really do believe in that business structure. All right, so this video actually got a lot longer than I was expecting. I am going to do the statistics in part two of this video. So stay tuned next week and I will give you all of the facts and figures about bookkeeping and how it's looking.